You're in the conference play. This is where you play. This is SEC. It's big boy ball now. Got a great opportunity this weekend now. Number one team in the country, Alabama. We know we prepare well and take advantage of opportunities that we could compete with anybody. You got to go put your will upon them for 60 minutes. They got to earn everything they get. Time for each and every one of you guys to be your best as a football player. Talking about rat poison last year when we played this game. Nobody would listen. Players wouldn't listen. It was the same situation a year ago. Last year, I feel a really bad taste, you know, my mouth. We definitely remember from last year. It's definitely helped our preparation for those guys this year. Everybody's got to be all in this. First play of the game to the last play of the game. Not a cloud to be found. The ball is in the air, and we are underway from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. A chain fielding it at the 5 to the 10 to the 15 and stacked up around the 17 yard line. He'll have two wideouts left. He'll roll the pocket that way. He's got room 20, 25, 30, and out of bounds wisely around the 32 yard line as Brian Branch was closing in. King waiting, short drop, looking to his right, pressure coming, dumps it off, A-chain left side, makes one man miss initially, and then he gets leveled. What a hit from Henry Toto to to Running back to the right side of the formation is Gibbs. They will hand it off to him. He's going to make one man miss, but get stacked up by another. It'll be a loss on the play. Back to the 30-yard line. Bama not able to block the Aggies. They are strong and physical, and they have guessed right so far against the Alabama oh, side. King. Gets the snap, looks to his right, has to step up, has to go down. Deontay Lawson wraps him up. Chris Braswell there as well for the Crimson Tide in Alabama, forcing Texas A&M to punt as they record. The Tide does their first sack of the night. And more. Gibbs goes out. Jace McClellan comes into the Alabama backfield. Snap goes to Milro, running right. Tons of green grass, 30, 25, 20, goes to the left side, 15, runs out of bounds wisely at the 12, took what was there. Left side of him will be Gibbs, looking, throwing, it is caught, touchdown Alabama. Jalen Milrow to Cameron Latu, and now you've got a flag down in the backfield. It's after the fact, likely to be a dead ball penalty, but a 10-yard touchdown strike to Cameron Latu, and boy, the quarterback, Jalen Milrow, looked very poised right there. King, he'll get the snap, he'll look and swing it out to A-chain. He'll be wrapped up. Brian Branch, a great play for a loss on the play. AM and trying to set up the screen to the left. One-on-one, -on -one, man to man blocking against Brian Branch, and he just blows right through it. Tackle for loss for AM and second three now has become about third and six. Toe Toe coming on an inside blitz. King's in trouble. And they bring him down from behind, and he, all, he almost lost the ball. Dallas Turner with a sack. Two wide outs to the left side. Play action. Milrow stepping up in the pocket, looking and going down. He is brought down at the 30, and then he lost the football. And AM may have recovered, and they have. A turnover by the Crimson Tide in Texas AM's defense with Fidel Diggs getting the fumble recovery, taking over at the Alabama 30 yard line. Yeah. The sack and fumble, balls loose and field position. Get back in the game for this AM offense now. The 30 yard line. Haynes King steps up, fires near side. There's a good throw and catch out to Chris Marshall. Has a chain to his right. Second and goal from the five. Caught touchdown. Wide open. Moose Muhammad. Touchdown. Aggies. No hesitation. Made the read. Zipped it to Moose for the touchdown. Absolutely. He just went across the goal line, turned around, and there the ball was. Well executed. He's going to do Randy Bonds extra point is up and good So with six and a half minutes comes in motion all the way to the right side handoff goes again to Gibbs waiting to read the hole and finds it 40 45 one man to beat midfield and beyond gets down near the 30 yard line before being bumped out of bounds They say he is out of bounds at the 35 of Texas A&M But another big game for Alabama offensively 37 yards first and 10 from the Aggie 35 Milrow looking across the middle catch made Burton breaks a tackle 20 15 10 5 touchdown Alabama 35 yards Milrow finds Burton Broke a tackle, found Pater, and Bama leads it again. Side on the slot, throw the slant, and let him go. Up and good. So two big chunk play. 
340 remaining. 14-7 Alabama. Milrow steps up. Milrow sacked! Regis had another fumble! The Aggies pick it up. Jalen Jones reaches the sack. Jones the fumble recovery the second time. Direction, play action. They are looking deep. Stepping up Milrow. He's going to be brought down. Ball knocked loose again. Scramble on the deck. And AM comes up with it again. Twice now, Jalen Milrow has gone up in the pocket and has lost possession out, of the football. Jalen Jones. The man who I believe came up with a loose football for Texas A&M, but Milrow, two major mistakes while trying to make big plays for the Crimson Tide. Two receivers on the short side of the field to the left. Haynes fakes to A-chain, rolls to his right. He's going deep for Evan Stewart. Caught it at the five! East Stew makes the grab for 44 yards. Well, this is a heck of a job by Evan Stewart. This crown over. And on a third and goal from the three. Fake to the second back. Roll to the right, looking back to his left. He throws, he's got a receiver. Touchdown! Aggies, Donovan Green, his first as an Aggie. Well, I saw this play in practice and I really liked it. It's a throwback. He rolls to the right side. Donovan Green is sneaking out the left side into the end zone. He throws it over everybody and it's a touchdown for your Aggies. With this extra point, they'll tie this game up. A third and 12. Milro back to pass, has time, and he is going deep. Intercepted at the 35-yard line. His second, Jordan Gilbert. He had one earlier in the season. Boy, he read this beautifully. Saw it coming, went and got it. Good job. Forced that one, didn't he, Dave? Yeah, he did. He forced it. He wanted to go deep, and he forced it. It was well covered. Aggies didn't come with much rush. They just dropped a whole bunch of people back. See if Cheetahs can eat right here. King looking, blitz coming, being chased, throws, it is intercepted. Arnold the pick, 40. Arnold down the sideline, left side, knocked out of bounds at the 30, and there's the takeaway for Alabama. The Tide will have it with 38 seconds remaining in the first half. The Aggies roll the dice, and Alabama with a chance for the payoff. And Arnold brings it back to the 28-yard line. That's where Alabama's got it. Yeah, that ball should have gone in the third row, right? Yep. And there's the ear field Gary was talking about. Meanwhile, Alabama now was upset about. Milrow. Holds on to the ball this time, spins out of trouble and got it back to the 32. Rikers kick on the way. Perfect. Right off the shoulder pad. Bama will run it right here, and that's a good move. There goes Jameer Gibbs, near side, 45-50, and pushed out of bounds on the A&M side of midfield at the 47-yard line. A nice 28-yard pickup right there for Alabama. Jameer down, coming up. From the 29, Milrow looking third and long. Swings it out, catch made, Brooks. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown to Corey Brooks. Finding the house, 29 yards. Milrow dumped it off. Brooks took it the rest of the way. And Alabama extends its lead now to 23 to 14. Single receiver to the right. Handoff right side, McClellan. Held on by the fumble, the football, he was hit, and the second effort recovered by the Aggies at the 38-yard line. They've got it. Shamar Stewart comes up with it. McClellan, Cooper had him by the leg and then was hit. Was it by McKinley? And then Shamar Stewart comes up with the loose ball. It's another turnover, the fourth by Alabama. I think it was Walter Nolan that hit him. And Marshall to the left. Fake to A-chain. Zip down the middle. He's got Muhammad. Caught it at the 25. Oh, what a catch. A little bit too high. And Moose just went a little bit higher. Oh, boy. They dropped the coverage on him. And if this ball is down about six inches, it's a touchdown. He was behind everybody. Go on the handoff. And it almost went to the deck. But A-chain was able to hang on as Brian Branch who's been so good tonight to able to wrap him up again there for a loss. Yeah, Pico not scared to bring these secondary guys on the blitz, been doing it all night right there. Snap, spot, kick, plenty of leg. That one is up, and that one is good. It goes through. 
Jameer Gibbs got to the corner. Gibbs with a cutback. Oh, 13 more for Jameer Gibbs. Telling him so too. Good block on the edge, but there's no way to understand how fast this guy can go. And then look at that cut. One foot, full speed cut. And three. Milro back to pass. Pressure coming. Rolling stacked back to the 30 yard line. Jared Kerr with the sack. Yeah, they brought the blitz from the outside, and Kerr chased him down before he could get set and before he could get away. The 29 yard line from this distance. High snap, put down. That kick. No good. He pulled it. The Aggie defense hold. Third down and six. Here comes a blitz from toe to toe. They keep it on the ground. A chain can't get away from DeMarco Hellams to the 36 yard line for a first down. Mohammed rolling. Here comes pressure and incomplete. Will Anderson brought the heat on King. With Milro. He looks. He will move to his left. He will throw across the middle. The catch is made first down. Ja'Cory Brooks inside the 30. A flag is 35-yarder right hash. Reichert missed his last one. This one's up. Plenty of leg. And this one's no good. Wow. Will Reichert has missed two in a row. And tight end goes to the left. Two wide outs right. King looking. Throw and pass caught. Hit delivered. DeMarco Helms rocking Devon A. Chain down. A gain of 46 yard try. Far hash. Kick is up. Kick is good. Heck of a kick from Randy Bond. Alabama King gets the pistol formation snap. Throws. Catch made underneath. A gain of about four. Clock will move with a minute 43 to go. Go. No. Second and seven Aggies from their 32. They throw across the middle again. Catch is made near the 38. Stewart making the grab, but not much positive. The first team in the last 30 games to beat Alabama here in Tuscaloosa in October. They swing it out. A chain wrapped up. Helms, and he's going to be close. He may have gotten the first down. 107. Now 106 as the snap is made. Blitz coming. They'll unload the football deep, and it is knocked away, and it is caught. Caught at the 37-yard line by Evan Stewart. King rolls to his right, throws for Stewart. He caught it in between. Oh, my gosh. Harry and Arnold it. and DeMarco Hellams. It's in Alabama territory inside the 40-yard line to the 37. Stewart. 47-yard line. The snap to King. Over the middle. Moose with the catch at the 16-yard line. First down. He's still on his feet. Inside the 15, and did he get out of bounds? 23 seconds left. Stewart one on one with Arnold on the right. It's the short side of the field. Third and 10 from the Alabama 15 with 11 seconds left. Over the middle to the end zone for Green. Flag is down. He was looking for Donovan Green, and they almost pulled his jersey off of him. Pass interference on the defense. King looking, throws it, end zone, it is intercepted, Battle picked it off, but I think they're going to call pass interference. Half the distance of the goal coming, and one play. One play left. Foster snapped to Haynes, in the pocket, fires right side of the end zone, incomplete. Arnold with the coverage, Alabama defeats Texas A&M, 24-20. Four point Bama lead. We're trying to keep it that way. King gets a snap. Time throws. It is incomplete. Zeros on the clock. Ball game. No flags. Alabama wins. Let's get out of here. At the end of the year, they don't ask you how. They simply ask you how many. And this is a big one for the Crimson Tide as Alabama holds off the fighting Texas Aggies. 24-20 is your final.